I waxed the crap out of these and then put three layers of fiberglass in each one. So hopefully those will come out and work on this huge thing. The guys over there sanded it for a week and they did an all right job. I'd be pretty disappointed if, the, <laughs> if it took me a week to do that, but you know, whatever. They smoothed it out most of the way. Although, the side here did end up a little wavy from them, you know, just supporting it in the front and the back and then pressing on it in the middle. But, it's not too bad. Apparently it was explained like 20 different times why you can't bend the thing, but whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to sand out some rough spots, get the edges nice, and then wax the stuffing out of this. I'm thinking I'm going to use most of a can. These will be much easier to get out in the final product because there will be a hole on this side for the window. But I wanted to do it all the way across so one could uh, select different size windows and just have the fiberglass go up to wherever you need it. <sighs> anyway. Those are some nice edges. I think that took about two hours to put three layers of fiberglass on that thing. <laughs> so that's right about where the windows are going. But since the shape is round, like the dome is actually spherical. You can move it down or up. It should fit everywhere. You can even put it crooked. It still fits. This one's gonna be my window piece. And this big mold here is mine. Oh, and the uh, horrible noise is uh, weed whackers on pretty much any gringo property around here. There's at least one guy, usually two or three, weed whacking 
like every day. And you know, the lawns look spectacular and marvelous, but man, it's just all day. I don't want that. Plus, I don't want to hire people to just weed whack all day. Sounds boring. Even if it is really cheap. Just like the picture. Oh, nice stuff. Oh, just like the other picture. And just like the other other picture. I knew I made this boat big for a reason. at home.